what's going on guys welcome to another video so for today's uh, app sheet episode we will be uh, running through a very interesting topic in terms of svg which is the scorecard so scorecard is one of my favorite elements to use in dashboarding or indicators that adds a very um what's the right word here a very helpful visualization in your app such as the the tracking or basically the count numbers that you can add uh, certain figures or data in your scorecards for a better understanding of your day-to-day uh, -day in your in-app sheet so we'll be covering a very I would say basic but in-depth uh, tutorial on how to do uh, SVG scorecards and there's many other ways of doing doing it and this is just one of the ways of, of doing so so without further ado let's check it out all right guys so SVG uh, in app sheet one of the use case or feature that you can use with SVG is to create a scorecard so I'm using the attendance app that I created. So this is based on the tutorial I did before. But now, as you can see on my screen, to the right, we have the list of employees. All right. So there's a few, uh, say two, four, six, eight employees. All right. And we have identified the gender of each of the employees. So basically, we have seven males and one female, which is uh, Nora. All right. So to my left and to your left as well, you will see the SVG that I've created. Okay. So there's two types. One is the basic generic black and white scorecard. There you can see the total employees, which is eight. And we have segregated the number of male and female respectively and the other variation or variant that we have is the colored one which we are using the uh, svg background and we have changed the text color okay so now let's try and uh, let's just run through first on the black and white edition so in my app, I have a table called SVG and the only physical column I have, which is the unique ID. And the rest are basically the virtual columns. Okay. So in the formula that I use for the first black and white SVG is literally the um, lines and strokes in terms of um, SVG so here you can see the we are using the concatenate all right and this particular section okay we are basically using the uh, conversion tool that I've shared earlier in my previous SVG video okay and of course any of the SVGs that we want to use in AppSheet, there's a certain uh, conversion that we need to do, okay? But nevertheless, okay, so how to read this is, uh, would be a bit overwhelming for some, but let me just break it down for you. Okay, so this part, this is where it initiates the SVG element. Okay. So as you can see, the view box defines the viewable area of the SVG. So here I'm setting it to 400 times 200 units. Okay. So rec here means rectangle. So this, this is basically the background rectangle. And this draw, draws a line and it covers the entire box since I set it to 100% in terms of width and height. 
And of course, um, the fill is basically the background of the box. Okay. So if I were to change this to say red, see, it should by right change the background of the box to red. So it's basically uh, using a natural language. Uh, it can sort of uh, understand. And you can also use hex code. Um, but from now, the easiest one is to use the natural language, which is uh, black, white, red, and so on and so forth. So I'm changing it back to white for now. So back to the expression or the code itself. Here you would see uh, an opening of the icon, which is the SVG. So this is actually an embedded uh, SVG icon that we actually took from the SVG icon tool. You, you can sort of select, let's say, for example, um, accessible here. And this is the, the code that we use back in the um, expression for the SVG, okay? And after the icon itself is a text, okay? This where it displays the text for the employees. So as you can see, the opening of the text where we have defined the, the styles or the font family, the size of the font. And fill means the color of the text. And of course, we have a placeholder called total employees. Then, we dynamically added the expression where we will count the number of employees uh, from the employees table and refer back to the employee ID and we will close the text uh, overall. So next would be the uh, icons and tags more or less okay so this is the male icon that we have seen here which is the male icon and the text where it counts the number of uh, male employees from the employee table and of course similar to the female uh, employees from the employee table okay so that is basically more or less how the structure works in the SVG uh, XML. Now, let's say we want to do another set, which is not black and white. Uh, we want to basically generate something like this, okay? Where we have a colored uh, background and white text, okay? So you can actually use any SVG sites or you can use Inkscape or any software to generate your desired uh, background. But maybe to make things easier for you to understand and try it out yourself, I'm just going to head down to this site called Haike. Okay. And of course, the there's a few uh, options that you can use. So I'm just going to go and select, say for example, uh, maybe let's go with the yeah, layered peaks here. Okay. So I'm just going to select the size. Say I'm just going to go with uh, to ratio to one here. It's fine. Uh, okay. We'll just leave it like this. Okay. And we would basically download the SVG file. Okay, so once you have downloaded the SVG file, okay, you would then open up the file using the notepad. And then you would see the code in the notepad, okay, and copy the code. And of course, you can uh, immediately use it in the app itself so let's say we add a new virtual column okay once you have copied the svg code from the notepad let's say svg colored 2 okay and paste it here all right so it's not 
uh sorry we should not space this yet we need to convert it so use the svg icon tool okay and click on add svg and paste the code that you have uh, copied from the notepad okay and then click on save so immediately i can see mine over here all right and you want to copy the xml or code from the uh, generated or um, converted svg code from the tool itself then go back to the attendance app okay for my case and i paste it here now this is not the end of it because by doing so you will still get an error like this so i'll just concatenate and close it like this quote in front of data quote at the end and close it okay so this is the first part of using the code but then here's another thing that you may want to uh, uh, take uh, at that extra attention to which is the double quotes that has been used in the uh, in the xml where we want to change the double quotes to single quote except for the first and last uh, concatenate uh, opening say for example here you can see visual is using double quote uh, simply replace it with single quote okay like this and like this so we have to do for all of the opening and closing quotes that has double and change it to single so let me just change this real quick for you so basically once you have um, replace the double quotes in between the concatenate expression we can then move on to save okay and click on done or of course the type of this uh, virtual column is image click on done and save you would then uh, be able to see the svg colored 2 is now displayed okay so let me just put it uh, include it in the dashboard so now you can see svg colored 2 is available all right here now let's add the placeholders in the svg itself okay so of course it's merely a copy and paste from the work that i did so let's see we don't want to take the rectangle it's fine we just ignore that we want to take the icon the first icon the text the icon the text the icon and then the text okay now since this is a very long code the question remains is where do we paste the placeholder it's very simple from the svg image that we have used and we have added there is a break here between the overall svg image with the closing okay the close of the svg itself so we want to paste it in between this okay so this is the n which is the svg and this is all the settings of the image all right we want to paste it in between so i'll just paste it right now and click on save so then you can see it's uh, slightly a bit different so we can do more uh, settings here so of course there is a view box where i wanted to focus on just the text so i'm just going to change it a bit to 400 to 200 okay we click save again now it's better but then the text and icons are not in white 
So I want it to be something like this. So let's change the font colors and the icon color. So to do that, back to the expression, to the virtual column SVG color 2, we want to carefully look into the uh, settings. Okay, so this is basically the first icon. Okay. So we can see the uh, the name of the icon is icon tabler user square so that's the one that we're looking for and the stroke is where the color is so you can actually use the code or you can simply use natural language so in this case let's, let's uh, name it to white okay so if i click on save and refresh this for a while Oh, it's still saving. Okay. So there, you can see the icon is now white. So let's do for the rest. Okay. Let's see. Okay, icon's done. Text. So we have text after the icon, which is the number of employees. Let's change the fill black to white. And the next icon, same, which is white. Text for it will be white as well. And the female icon, which is Venus, we'll change it to white as well. And the text from black to white. Click on save. So there you go. Now you have the SVG using the template. Oh, of course, we can uh, resize the SVG to show more detail. But more or less, this is how it's done for me, at least. And of course, you can give this a try. And I've included this, uh, this uh, output or this XML code in the description down below. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like if you find this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't do if you haven't, so that you can f uh, see more contents like this in the future. And of course, when it comes to SVG, we will be covering uh, more topics on how to make the app more interesting. And upcoming or up next is basically on how to do a tracker, um, such as order tracker in your in app sheet using SVG. And of course, do let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below. I'm Aris Azahar. Thank you for your time. I hope to see you guys in the next one. So take care. Bye-bye.